people in some countries saw the aftermath of what happened in Fukushima and decided the risks of nuclear power were too great. The Germans and the Swiss plan to phase out atomic energy. But some governments in Eastern Europe are heading in the other direction. They want to build nuclear plants to reduce their energy dependence on Russia. NHK Roll's Evo Tuchel reports. Poland has yet to build its first nuclear reactor. The government froze all projects to build a nuclear plant after the Chernobyl accident in 1986. The country's large labor force and proximity to large consumer markets like Germany has attracted vigorous foreign investment. Despite the deepening credit crisis and recession in Europe, Poland has managed to maintain growth. But economic development has raised the issue of a stable energy supply to secure independence from Russia. Authorities are looking to nuclear power as an alternative to coal. They are aiming to start building two reactors by 2020. We think that the nuclear option as a base load capacity will be a very important element of diversification of our energy mix, creating a new basis for energy security for the Polish power system. The two projects have attracted the attention of nations eager to export nuclear infrastructure. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe promoted his country's technology during a visit to Warsaw on Sunday. But opposition is increasing in areas designated as candidate sites. I'm in the village closest to the possible location for the nuclear plant. Many people are showing with banners that they are opposing the government's plans. Tadeusz Pastuszak manages a pension in Kupalino, on the coast of the Baltic Sea, an area famous for its health resorts. Every summer, Kupalino attracted crowds of tourists, until the government announced its intention to build a nuclear reactor just five kilometers away. Here I have for uh, July and August. I have a little. You see, cancel it, cancel it. After the Chernobyl accident, a strong mistrust of nuclear power remains among the public. People in the tourism industry complain that even the plan of building a nuclear power plant has damaged the image of this scenic resort. Pastuszak's income is down to 50% of what it used to be. When I ask tourists if they will come again after the nuclear plant is built, everyone answers, of course not. It's simple. The project should just go away and leave this place alone. Nation polls suggest Polish people are split in half over the construction of nuclear plants. Why not? It's cheaper. Maybe better, I'm not sure, but it's definitely cheaper. That's what I heard. Nuclear plants also present many risks. Two good examples are what happened in Chernobyl and more recently in Japan. The neighboring Czech Republic, on the other hand, already has six reactors. The government is planning to build two more at Temelin. U.S. company Westinghouse, controlled by Japan's Toshiba, and Russia's state-owned Rosatom are competing to build these new units. But in May, concerns expressed by Czech finance minister Miroslav Kalusek poured cold water on the project. In economic terms, the completion of Temelin is extremely risky in the current situation. This is a simple fact. The estimated cost of building the two reactors is around $10 billion. There is no telling whether the initial investment will be recovered now that power charges are trending down. Shale gas and other alternative sources of energy are expected to become more widely available. East European nations are divided over the need to build additional nuclear plants. The future of these projects will depend on the authorities' ability to provide clear answers to the question of whether nuclear power is safe, both for people and as an investment. Ivo Tuchel, NHK World, Warsaw. With the uncertainty at home, Japanese government leaders have been pitching their nuclear technology overseas. They've asked their counterparts in Poland if they're interested. 
Polish leaders decided to build two nuclear plants to supplement their energy supply. They had hoped to fire up the reactors in 2024. But now Prime Minister Donald Tusk says they may push back that schedule. He cited the cost of building reactors as much as $15 billion. And he said developers are exploring alternatives such as shale gas. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe met with Tusk in Warsaw to promote Japanese nuclear technology. Managers at electronics maker Hitachi are trying to win the bid to build the reactors. Polish leaders abandoned building nuclear plants after the Chernobyl accident in 1986 in neighboring Ukraine. Poles now rely on coal-fired plants for more than 80% of their power.